Okay, I have two videos that I want to show you guys. One is about a black female crying because of the so-called Jim Crow law that is they're trying to reenact in Mississippi. And then the other video, which I'm going to show you now, was the comment made by a lawmaker that was suggesting that they bring back hanging from a tree, lynching, as a form of capital punishment in Mississippi. You know what? I don't know why it's such a shock to black Americans. See, that's what happens when you forget history. There was even a movie out, Mississippi Burning, if you've never seen that movie, you might be able to find it on YouTube, Apple TV, and even Netflix. But you can look for it. But it's called Mississippi Burning. If you've never seen that movie before, look the movie up and watch it. Now, I hear a lot of you are talking about conservatives, Republican, the GOP, the white Republicans, and... Why do you think so many rhinos, Republicans in name only, are teaming up with the Democrats? I spoke to you in the past about comments that Joe Biden made. I, I tried to warn you about what the Democrats are doing, but most of you did not heed the call. I told you that these things were going to occur. I told you that the Democrat Party is racist and that's why you have so many Republicans or GOP or rhinos teaming up with the Democrats. I also recall too a lot of y'all, a lot of blacks saying that they want communism. Do you guys remember that video? And I told you back then, I said, you have no idea what you're asking. You have no idea what communism is. Or what a communist is. You think that communism is just free stuff from the government. The government taking care of you. But... When you are a communist, man, you are given government complete and total control over you and your life. But I want to play this video because a lot of y'all are talking about that, that lawmaker that made the comment about the hanging. And they were talking about capital punishment, right? But you didn't listen to what the black man was saying. You guys completely ignored what the black man was saying. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm confused because I thought black people wanted segregation. I thought you wanted to be away from the racist white people. I thought you wanted to defund the police. And a lot of y'all are walking around saying black lives matter and stay the F out of black people's business. I told you in the past, man, that you were going to wake a sleeping giant. But you ignored it. And the Democrats played the race card and created this environment. They used you as a front, as a guinea pig, to promote their own agenda. And then they threw you under the bus. They left you hanging. And unfortunately, a lot of y'all are still going to vote. Democrat, you're still going to support Biden. You completely ignore what Biden is doing, what the Democrats are doing to this nation, to you. They are supporting Ukraine. White supremacists. Have you guys read the news? When at the beginning of that Ukrainian war, that alleged war, 
They had Africans that had to get off the bus or the train to let white people on. So they had to take care of the white people first in Ukraine. Ukrainians do not like black people, but your tax dollars are going towards Ukraine. And many of y'all support Ukraine. But I want, to, I want you guys to pay attention to not so much as this lawmaker, because I think he was just being sarcastic. I think he was being sarcastic. It was bad taste. He shouldn't have said it. And I, I'm, I'm sure that he meant that in his heart. But it was sarcasm. Because they were casually talking about how they were going to kill someone on death row. They were talking about it like, oh, um, get me, um, get me a 10 piece nugget at Popeye's chicken. They were just so casually talking about it. So he had to throw in his little sarcasm about, well, you know what? I, I suggest bringing back hanging from a tree. You know, I think, and, and I'll be willing to sign your bill. He was being sarcastic. Yes, he did say it. And more than likely, he probably meant it. But it was sarcasm. See, a lot of y'all out there fighting for something that you don't understand. I came up in the 60s. People like me tried to warn you. And you just knew you knew what you were talking about. But I want you to listen to the black dude. Pay attention to the black dude and how what he was saying and how he was saying that. An apology coming down from Capitol Hill tonight after comments a state lawmaker made this week about a bill to add a firing squad as a way to execute death row prisoners in Tennessee. During an open meeting, that lawmaker suggested another way to execute those inmates could be, quote, hanging by a tree. News Channel 5 Station Land has the fallout. All right, it's February 28th. Welcome to the Criminal Justice Full Committee. It was a typical meeting on Capitol Hill that quickly turned to a very atypical topic surrounding death row inmates and how they're executed. The uh, opportunity to add a firing squad as a method of execution. The suggestion of a firing squad in the wake of several failures from the State Department of Correction to properly follow protocol when executing prisoners using lethal injection, leading to questions not usually heard on Capitol Hill. Will a person be shot in the head or the heart or where will a person be shot? But then came the comment prompting an apology. Did you guys hear that? You know, would he be shot in the head or the heart? So where exactly where he would be shot? Where exactly? It's nothing. Just a criminal that's on death row. So how do you think we should do it? Is it in the head? Or is it in the heart? How are you going to do that? And then listen to the response of the lawmaker that you guys are attacking but you ignored what this black dude said. tonight. It came from Republican Representative Paul Sherrill from Sparta. Thank you, Representative Powers, for bringing this. I think it's a very good idea. And I was just wondering about, uh, could I put an amendment on that that would include hanging by a tree also? Can I put an amendment on that which includes hanging by a tree? And, uh, and also, uh, I would like to sign on your bill, sir. Tonight, Cheryl... See, he said that so casually. See, and I think, again, I think that's sarcasm and that's not taken up for him. Because I'm sure he meant that. But at the same time, you guys ignored what that black man was saying. And notice, they didn't say if he was Democrat or Republican. But they made sure... They let you know that that was a, a Republican that came up with that. And a lot of y'all are thinking like, oh, you know, all these bad racist Republican and we're all black in Mississippi. But you own nothing. You depend upon the government. A lot of y'all quit your jobs, man, during the pandemic. Expecting the government to take care of you. 
You don't support black on black businesses. What did you expect to happen with all this black on black, um, black lives matter and, and defund the police and white supremacy and racism and all this stuff. And these white folks sat back silent. Now they're starting to lash out along with some immigrants that you guys supported. You supported the open borders, everything that the government put before you, you accepted it, and they used you as a front man to post there and pass their agenda. But you know what? If you really want to see who's against you, now you got clear people that would tell you they love you and they support you and Oh, it's horrible and racism was it's horrible and slavery was horrible and black people are, are suffering every day. But the minute you mention anything about reparation, oh no, uh-uh, no, I'm not, uh no, I don't, I don't support that. I don't support that. See, now, when it comes to Jim Crow, I want you guys to watch the reaction of this black female. And this is a, it's sad and it's embarrassing, man, because why do we as a people have to display so much weakness we cry and complain so much without standing up don't even realize how much power you have but I'm gonna let you listen to this black female this is embarrassing in my opinion it's embarrassing check it out I'm scared. <laughs> um. It has just come to my attention because I didn't know about it just until today. Um, in Mississippi, there was just a law passed like five days ago that um, the Jim Crow laws are being reinstated. Um, Mind you, Jim Crow is segregation. You see like the banner in the background? You know, colored. No colored people are allowed. Black water fountain, white water fountain. They have their own courts, their own judges. See, so you don't have to deal with a racist system because a lot of black people talked about how racist everything is. How racist the police is. How racist the court system is. How black people don't get no, white people got tired of that. My question to the so-called black Americans, when are you going to get tired? When are you going to get tired and stop supporting Democrats? Stop voting Democrats. You keep voting them back in office without asking for anything. You don't require them to do anything for you. So they don't respect you. They only use you to push their own agenda. And I told you. Right now, you're going to start seeing the Democrats, Kamala Harris, Black Lives Matter, even the black celebrities are going to start coming out now because the election time is coming. And they're going to make Republicans look so bad. They're going to make the white man white supremacy. That's all they're going to talk about is racism. And you're going to eat it up. You're going to feed right into it. You're going to fall right into their mousetrap. And then you're going to run to the polls in fear and vote for them. And then you're going to find yourself in the same situation. Now, again, go back and watch that movie, Mississippi Burning. That, that shouldn't be happening at all. And I know you may be wondering, this is like not my normal content on here, but I'm sorry. And I just have to make this known because what the fuck? What the actual fuck? Why? Why? I really don't understand why people do not. Why? Why? Your wife's half bait. Do why? Not like me. Do not like us. Because, because of my, my color of skin. skin. I, don't I don't understand. understand. I, I really don't, don't fucking understand. understand. What? Black lives matter. Black lives matter. White supremacy. Defund the police. Burning down buildings. Looting. 
Every time you look at a video, man, look at what a lot of black folks are doing. And then when you talk about that, when you try to address that, then black people come back with, well, white people do it too. Remember I made videos about that in the past? White people do it too. You forget where you are. You are behind enemy lines. The Bible tells you about your enemies. You're behind enemy lines. The same people that put you in captivity before are the ones you support and vote. You vote them in the office. So it doesn't matter how many black people or how you populate Mississippi. Look who's in charge. And you think just because you vote some black person in there because they, they got brown skin. And then once they get in there, you find out they were not for you. They were only trying to lace their own pockets. The fuck did I do? I'm, I'm so fucking sorry. She's so sorry that she's black? That she was born black? Is that what she wanted to say? See, so it, 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 it's, it's embarrassing, man. It's really embarrassing, man, that um, you got black folk that's like that. Now it's like you're scared. Like, why? You know, this is what you wanted. You wanted segregation. You know, you talked about Black Lives Matter and black people this and black people this and black, black, black. And I talked about that on social media, on, on the so-called Black American channel. All you hear is black. You got Africans, man, that don't like you now. Mexicans don't like you now because you complain so much without trying to do anything for yourself. Man, there's a lot of jobs that's open now because people quit their jobs. It ain't because Joe Biden did anything magically and brought jobs in here. They can't fill these positions because people don't want to work. You quit your job, man, for the government to take care of you. And now you got the government. Now you're. A lot of y'all talk about Bill Gates. And how Bill Gates talk about population reduction. I talked about population reduction. Who do you think. They're going to reduce. First. So, black people need to wake up, but I'm still trying to figure out why are you so upset now? You, this, this is what you want. You know, you, you complained about white supremacy, and now white supremacy is, 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 is answering your complaint. Okay, well, we have our white justice system. And now you're talking about fairness. So... Feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, till next time. I'm fearless.